Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. And in this video, let's talk about selections. So we touched a little bit about selections when we were covering this section of this sheet. And uh, one of the ways we can make the selection is by just click coming over here and selecting what do we want to select over here. So once we do the selection, we have uh, the option of making selections. Uh, that is related to the first selection that we are making. So that's basically a one way about uh, how you can make the selection within ClickSense, but it is rich in making a selection. How? Let's do that. Let's see that. So second thing is about making a range selection. So for example, I am only interested in this one, two, three, four. So what I can do is I will just make drag start dragging from there which i where i started and stopping it over here right and i will confirm that by clicking this so i will make this range selection right so that is what i wanted to show you generally you know this this information you will not find it in tutorials but that's another way of uh, making a selection right um if uh, i show you another way of making a selection well, I'll just uh, click over here, which is not a very efficient way in this case, but lasso tool. Uh, it is especially useful in cases like where you have scatter chart. But let me show you. I will just start this and start making kind of a selection. So if you see, I'm just making these three selections, right, and confirm that. So this this is helpful in making the selection where you have these scatter charts. I'll sh I'll sh basically see where my scatter chart is. I will just uh, clear all of that, and uh, let me see if we have created any scatter chart. Yeah, um, over here we created, but I don't know. Uh, it's it's kind of an image put that way. All right. So that's the example of scatter chart and here performance. All right, so over here, I'll just click on this chart and this lasso is now enabled for me. I will just start doing the selection and over here, very, very custom selection and make the selection. So this way uh, it will make or it will show you uh, the filtering of this data like this and uh, help you make the selection so that's another way if i go back and come to the dashboard another way i can make a selection is let's say uh, top 10 opportunities top 10 closed opportunities all of that um, let's say i am only interested in q1 2014 so i can just go ahead and click it over here as i click it on q1 2014 all of the rest of the charts are populated but as you can see there is not a lot of information because there are inside formulas which is not agreeing with the one particular selection so i will just remove that but mainly i wanted to show you that you can even select the label from here and make a selection even i can just go ahead and select this and it will populate the rest of the charts or rest of the different charts so these are like some of the ways in which uh, you can make and if, even if you have legends somewhere you can even click on the legend so pretty much everything which you see over here is selectable it's just that uh, with, with practice you know you can do the range selection you can do the lasso you can selection from here from the chart it's just that whatever question is coming in your mind based on the uh, based on that you can start making a selection and click sense will help you to to achieve that so that's pretty much it. I wanted to talk about these different types of selections within ClickSense and now I'll meet you in the new video topic.